really it was the fact that we've lived in this house with uh, with our three children since they were um, under the age of 10 really and um, we'd, we'd always uh, enjoyed living where we live but the house we've never internally particularly no. liked did we? No. So once they'd grown up and left home we decided that uh, we were either going to move or we were going to do something to this house to make it work better for us really. So um, we, we were had actually a... living in not many rooms were we? No correct. We were just yeah. using our existing old kitchen and our bedroom, the yeah. bathroom, and we weren't really making use of the space. And we had an old conservatory here, um, which was too cold in the, in the winter, too hot in the summer. So um, we started looking at houses, didn't we? We did, And yeah. found that we couldn't really afford to um, buy anything, even, even you know, spending quite a lot more money. Um, couldn't find anything in a better location um, that, that, that was going to suit us. So we decided to save the stamp duty and uh, yeah. make the house work for us, really. Well, basically, we, we went down yes. to Wix to start with. We, yeah, we went to Wix and we thought, um, very nice lady down there, and she spent a bit of time with us, and we thought, well, that's quite nice. And then, because we were having this extension as well, um, we went up to Grand Designs and the first thing we came across was a talk by Keith and we sat at the back <laughs> and just listened and at the end Keith said oh, if anybody wants to come up you know any questions and we sat there and Nick said I'm going to go and talk to him. I thought, oh, what are you going to say? <laughs> what are we going to say? What are we going to do? And uh, we just went and said hello, and it was just instant like that. We thought, well, for one, we really like you, and we really like what you're saying. Um, we'd, we'd like a bit more of your time, and that's how it started, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, and at the time, Keith was one of the RCA experts, um, but all his slots were booked up. Um, but he said to us, I've got 10 minutes before the first one if you want to come and have a chat with us. Yeah, which is uh, very kind. We did. And then what we actually spotted on, as he was flicking through on his screen, some of the projects that were being done, was the one kitchen on the previous year's uh, BBC, um, sorry, not Channel BBC, Four. Channel 4's um, House of the Year um, with Kevin McLeod. Um, there was one kitchen in there that we liked out yeah. of all of them. We both agreed on. And it was and it was yours. And we spotted that kitchen, and both of us instantly just said, "That's, That's the we kitchen want. we like." And um, and yeah, so that was initially what yeah. we did. Um, but also, our initial thoughts are, we're just not going to be able to manage something like that. No, absolutely. Come around to so, we're never going to be able, you know spend that sort of money you know, on, on, a, on a kitchen. And I said, well, all we can do is give someone a budget and see what it has to say. And there was a small fee involved in, as well in, in Keith Designer's kitchen, which is something that we would never have considered doing in the past. But what we actually did was we, we, we um, I said to Caroline, well, we would easily spend that money on, on a weekend away. Mm. So, so why we made a weekend of it basically, yeah. didn't so, we? Yeah, so we decided that why not pay the money for the experience yeah. of working with someone at the top of their game, which we've never done in our lives. No. You know, we've always done all the work ourselves, but why don't we actually treat it as an experience and just enjoy, even if it's the very first stage, of dealing with somebody that's... Yeah, the, even if you know, we're you know, we not able to take it any further, Yeah. we thought it would be a treat. So that's is how we, we did. looked upon it. So yeah, that's what we did. Mm. And yeah. um, it was a very good experience. Yeah. And then we started realising, hmm, okay, <laughs> maybe, maybe we can. And Keith, Keith gave us the impression yeah. that, that for, for the, the sort of budget we were talking about, which really was at the time we thought the very top end we could we could spend yeah. probably more more yeah. but but we Keith assured us that he could um, come up with come something, up with something for, our budget. for that budget and um, so yeah that it, we went from there really. Mm -hmm. 
Keith designed a perfectly good kitchen for us. Yeah, he was very mindful of very, it. Very mindful of the budget and, and, and as, as he said to us, if he tried to design a kitchen that was well over our budget, he'd end up not, not selling us a kitchen. So he was very mindful of it, always very mindful mm. of it. Um, and not at any point in the project did we really feel that we were under any pressure to no. spend any more. In fact, in fact mm. if anything, it was the opposite. Um, there were times when we were starting to, to look at other other possibilities and and um, uh, and he was saying to us, well, you know, that's that's going to cost you a bit more. Are you, you sure you really want to do that? Um, mm, will uh, you get that much more out of it? Well, yeah, absolutely. And so that... and e even even we we asked to um, to, to go to to the, to the Mila experience, <laughs> uh, which you you offered to organise for us. And he, and he actually said to me, Nick, do not okay. go because you will you will spend more money than you want to. He, he, so no, and he, he was right. And he was right. Yeah. <laughs> We wanted to design the space around the kitchen because yeah. at the end of the day we had a blank canvas. Um, we'd flattened the site, so uh, we had a blank canvas to do that. So the kitchen was really the most important thing and the whole project really um, uh, evolved around that. And, uh, and, I, th and I, I don't know if I said to Keith earlier, really it felt very much as if we, we, were, a t we were a team. Mm -hmm. um, Keith was extremely patient um, and but at the same time um, we, 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 we were just bouncing ideas off each other um, even the hidden, hidden shelving there was a sort of a, a relatively late idea because it was a small a small thing that we wanted cookery books easy available but we didn't want to see them um, so it was all those sorts of little little tweaks and things, the, the, the alignment of that split window with, with the end of the units, all of these things really um, ev evolved around the kitchen and yeah, Keith's input was invaluable really. Yeah, in the early stages, Dan was involved, um, came and measured up and that sort of thing. Um, we spoke to Keith a lot, Keith was always there, there in the background. Um, Angela has been um, a constant um, go-to person throughout the whole project. Um, without a shadow of a doubt, the, the, the um, outstanding member is, is Pete, mm. um, the installation manager, who is um, almost as anal as I am. Um, in fact, no, actually he's more anal than I am. Um, but it was an absolute pleasure working with Pete because he, his attention to detail was just 100% on. Uh, and um, and I, I, I've, since working with the Miles Potato, I've become a little bit like that myself. So um, to work with him during the installation, before the installation and subsequent to the installation has been an abs absolute pleasure um, because I know that if I ask Pete to do something, or if he says he's going to do something, A, it will be done, and B, it will be done 100% right. Mm. And um, to me, uh, as, as the customer, I suppose, um, that is so rare, I think, in, in construction and this sort of thing, to have someone that you can 100% tr trust. And it's one area where I, th I think at least I know I haven't got to stress about that. Yeah, someone you can talk to. Yeah. Rather than um, keep it to yourself, you feel like you can't say anything. You've got an idea. Yeah. You know you can say something. Yeah. And um, you won't just say no. You get someone you can talk to about it. Yeah. Yeah. Really. And and not always at our be not always no. at our behest either. In actual fact, there was one occasion at the end of the installation. On the, we've, we've got a warming drawer here, and and on the top of the warming drawer, just at the oh, top yeah. here there was a tiny mark, it was probably about five millimetres long, and Pete spotted it and he said, we've done that, that wasn't anything. He said, it'll be replaced. And it was. Yeah. And um, yeah, it is, it's, it's really reassuring to work with somebody that, that you, know, you know is, is caring for you rather than trying to get away with things, yeah. which so many people do. So yeah, yeah nothing's been an issue, has it? No, it's, not at all. No. But the initial 
initially it was all about function, wasn't it? Yes. And then going and talking to Keith, it's um, really made us feel about how we want to feel. And that became more important yeah. than functionality. Yeah. But interestingly, it's very fun. The function <laughs> is perfect. Yeah. So definitely go with your heart and think about the space yeah. that you want to live in. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. So I think um, I think we uh, we've actually. I feel I've actually changed as a person. As well, so, which mm. may sound a little over the top, but but I, I know I have, um, and uh, the the initial the initial um, lecture that we saw Keith give was was designing spaces with um, light space. I guess and we didn't we didn't know how to put it into words. You know no. how you feel, but you don't know how to express that feeling, and particularly the talk that we saw, unexpected things. We didn't go. For that was um, well, it's life changing. For us, it was. It, it was really, yeah. Um, we even knew to the, instantly that's what we want. Yeah, even to the extent of the music we listen to yeah. when we're cooking or we're doing something. Um, the music we we listen to now a lot of the time is a lot uh, softer, gentler, um, and and is part of the atmosphere of this space. Mm. And even last night when we sat down. Um, to eat, Caroline sort of turned to me, which she does most even and says, Is, isn't this lovely? And we've been using the space now for um, nearly, nearly a year, and it, nothing's changed at this point in time to it was when we first sat down in it. It's exactly the same, yeah. really. Yeah. You talk about emotionality, when I'm actually talking about this, I'm actually feeling yeah. slightly emotional. Um, because, yeah, it's, it's special, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's very special. It's mm. It worked really well, particularly which we spent a long time trying to get right was the gap between the, the island dimension. and the sink. And all four of it worked well with somebody be unloading the dishwasher, at the cooker at the sink. It worked remarkably well, didn't we it? We didn't collide once, and I don't know quite how that happened, but no, we, it, it just of, worked, um, yeah. Yeah. Again, flow is the word, isn't it, that we yeah. keep using. It just flowed really well. The other thing that we started using was sitting up here because um, we've had various old furniture in storage, haven't we? And um, our daughter, um, who's also studying, pinched a bit of a long story, but took one of the dining chairs and um, she had like a fume hood, so it was in a space that it then couldn't be taken out of so we thought right we'll start sitting up here and it was lovely and we, we stayed, stayed here yeah we, we stayed, stayed here, here for the rest of the time that they were here yeah and it was great wasn't it yeah and this becomes a social very social space when, when when keith was designing the kitchen we we wanted to make this really a a, a, a bit of a no-go area mm. where, where, the, where the cooking was being done and the washing up and that, and that um, the room would flow around that side so that if anybody came into the kitchen uh, uh, to talk or have a drink or whatever, they were, they were actually away from the working area. And that has worked very that well. Has worked very well. Um, and if people need to come around, there's plenty of room for them to, but in general, the room flows in that direction. Uh, and when we first came to, to see Keith, the, the, the door that goes into the utility room was actually going to be here, but we moved it over that, over that side um, yeah. to enable that, that sort of flow. So, um, yeah, it, mm. it just works perfectly. There isn't a single thing about this kitchen we would change. There isn't yeah. a single drawer or cupboard or appliance position we would change. We, we feel we've got it yes. spot on, really. So, yeah, yeah. thanks to Thank you for you. that. Well, fortunately, you kept in touch with us via Zoom in so much that you were doing regular weekly presentations, mm. which made us feel still part of part of the the, the process. Yeah. There was absolutely nothing you or we could do to speed the process along, no. and as soon as you were able to, you did. 
I think the, the, the most important thing was that we had the opportunity. I think our kitchen was the last kitchen out of Germany before the uh, first lockdown. And uh, we managed to, we had the opportunity to get it actually delivered here to store it beforehand. And that made it possible that the minute there was a space to be able to fit mm -hmm. it, you were able to come and do the work, which you did. Um, uh, so, and even that, yeah. Pete, when Pete came, bless him, he bought his tent. Yeah. He camped in the garden. He camped in the garden because no yeah. accommodation was, was available yeah. at the time. Uh, you weren't allowed to stay anywhere. So, so he offered to, I think one of the guys slept in the back of his van and the other guy slept in a tent. So, you know, what yeah. more? It's nice as a fisherman, isn't he? So he wanted to go down to the beach and do some beach fishing. <laughs> and then he just slept in his van overnight. Yeah. Yeah. But it worked well, well, yeah, well. Very well. We haven't done, we've no, done very little. We've had the family. The restrictions, yeah. And we've had, uh, uh, we've had a few friends round, but we're still really, I mean, Caroline and Outside. I, we had a daughter that was yeah. pregnant, yeah. Um, living with us for five months. So I purposely started working at home to protect her. We've been extremely careful with yes, regard to yeah. um, the regulations and everything. So it's really only been in this last few weeks when it's been oh. possible. We've had people come and have a have a look, um, and it's and and actually Leon, the builder, who who's done an absolutely fantastic job for us. Um, uh, but he said yesterday, we, I, I said, I'm, I'm really glad that you you've you know you can now come back and see it as it is and how we're using the space. And, and he said, well, yeah, he said, but do you know what the nicest thing for me is? He said, I see the guys come back who worked on the original build, but didn't see the kitchen installed, didn't see the tiling on the floor. And he said, I just watch them come around that corner and they stand there with their mouths open. And he said, they don't know what to say. And I said, that's really, I'm really glad that you're getting that out of it, you know, um, because he deserves it, you know. He's, um, yeah, worked very hard for us. Yeah, he has. Yeah. So we get to have our party, aren't we? Yeah, but it's it's on the cards. Yeah, the way it makes us feel. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's I think, overwhelming whereas, for me. Um, come home from work and it used to always feel, oh, I've got to get dinner, I've got to do this, got to do that. I come home and think, oh, I'll get on with dinner now. But it's more of a, oh, yeah, we don't notice the time. I think that's the thing. Yeah, that's don't true. Don't notice the time anymore. Yeah. It would be getting dark and then we realise, oh, it's it, dark. <laughs> dinner every evening feels like a special event. Yeah. You know, a glass of wine and an air meal just feels like an event because we share the, we share the space together and, and it, it's always a special occasion, isn't it, really? Um, so, yeah, that's, that's it, really. Mm.